Okay, so this is everything gotten from the Rockland Boulders versus New Jersey Jackals. Uh, Friday afternoon playoff game uh, from Friday, September 11th, 2020. Uh, of course, it, I kind of pu already put everything away. Not that I forgot about this part of the video, but I just, you know, it was just easier for me to put everything away. And it was, you know, I'm just lazy, so I didn't feel like fully bringing everything out. So, uh, and really all we have, this is the reason why I'm making this video. Let, let's be honest, if it were, if I did not have that, this part of the video would not exist because there would be really nothing to show. Uh, this is just your standard printed ticket. They didn't even know who they were playing or which team, the home team would be playing at, at the time that they made this to be determined at Boulder slash Brave. Obviously now we know it was Jackals and Boulders at Palisades Park, 1 p.m., uh, section 109 uh, general admission uh, you had the boulder bird mascot you have regular season champions 2015 14-15 uh, um, and yeah that, that's it there was no parking either um, they weren't charging for parking this time they still had the standard five dollar parking last time I went but I guess you know Friday afternoon you know one o'clock showing showing up around 12 30 um, they had no one to work the parking, so it was free. Uh, and this is my first Frontier League ball. Um, just happened to be in one of the stands. Uh, you can see in the video clearly how uh, empty it was, so it wasn't hard to get. Um, and actually, you can barely make out uh, Frontier League, but it is Frontier League, so hey, I'm going to count that. Um, yeah, I haven't gotten a Frontier League ball, ball. Obviously, it's always been a Midwest League. I'm obviously on the East Coast. Um, these three teams, Rockland, New Jersey, and Sussex, were supposed to go to Frontier League this year. Um, but obviously that didn't happen, won't happen until at least next year now. And obviously they had some balls already uh, for some reason. Uh, but that works out for me because now I have a Frontier League ball, even though I've never been to a Frontier League game. Um, and I didn't just drop that. But anyway, you can see the scuffing right there, definitely where it was hit. Um, this might have been hit a couple times. Um, Rawlings is less scratched off than Frontier League, and then you see your normal dirt and stuff. You see this big dent. This was not from a bat, for sure. They would have thrown this out. Um, this has to be... It bounced off of something with a sharp edge, I gotta imagine, and that's what created this. I can't tell you what created this exactly, but it's definitely not a bat. Um, this bounced off somewhere on the concourse or a seat or something, something with an edge <laughs> that made it do that. See a little bit, it's kind of hard to see in camera here, but you see a tiny bit more scuffing here. Um, then the rest is just mud and stuff. Um, I can't exactly tell what this says, but I assume it's not much. It's just, it probably just says where it's made and stuff. I forget what it usually says here. But it's not usually anything important. Usually the important stuff is the league. Important to me anyway. Official ball, Frontier League. Then you have the commissioner signature down below. So that's really cool. First Frontier League ball. Um, and if you also have watched my videos, you know that um, I usually mark these up. Uh, like I have, uh, I forget what it's called. But kind of like I print, I type up these labels and then put them on the ball. So I know exactly like who hit it. You know, what part of the game, what game it was, the date and all that. That's what I do to these balls. I haven't done this with this yet because, like I said, this was a ball that was found. So I wasn't paying attention when, you know, what batter hit this. All I know is that it was bottom of the eighth, most likely, that this was hit. I have to look through my footage. Hopefully I can determine, you know, based off of the direction of where the ball was hit. Somewhere, I'm hoping that somewhere in my footage I can kind of narrow it down to who hit this ball, and then I can label it up. So, uh, but anyway, that's it for this part of the video. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.